Okay, this video shows how to write a Dexter boot image onto an SD card. So here's my SD card, it's unopened. You're going to need some kind of way to get the SD card onto your desktop computer. Um, I just have this device that converts the SD card into USB, so that's what I'm going to use. But you're your your solution may vary so I can't really tell you exactly how to do this part okay I've got the SD card removed so I'm gonna put it in the adapter kind of hard to do one-handed all right now I'm going to put this into my I'm going to show this for both Windows and Mac because I have a Windows and a Mac. So first I'm going to do Windows and then I'll do Mac. I'm going to put this into my Windows box now. Okay, I inserted my USB device and now a new drive letter has shown up here in Windows Explorer. USB drive D. So that's important to remember. The D drive is my USB drive. Okay, now I have downloaded the Dexter boot image. Current version is version 5. It may be the same for you or it may be a different version. And it is currently compressed with 7-zip, which is why it ends in 7-z. So you need to have 7-zip installed. You can just right click on it if you have 7-zip installed. Go find 7-zip in the menu and then do extract here and it goes pretty fast extracts it right there now you have dexterpy-v5.img and again your version may be different than version 5 but that's what I've got right now okay now we need a program to write this image file to the SD card so a nice program for this is called Etcher from a group called Belina, I think. Belina Etcher. So it takes you to this page. So I'm going to just say download for Windows. And then it downloads. Here. When the download is finished, then I'm going to run the install just gonna click through this it looks like okay so it ran so now I'm gonna choose flash from file I'm gonna go find the file I remember I previously extracted this IMG file. I'm going to go find where that is. You'll have to find where it is on yours because it'll be different for your Windows than mine. Let's say OK. So I've found the file. Now it wants me to select the target. Remember my SD card is on my D drive. So I'm going to say select target and choose this one. Be very careful not to choose. I have some other hard drives here that I don't want to overwrite. So be very careful that you're choosing the right one. Look for one that's, you know, the, the size you expect. My SD card is 32 gigs and D, so be very careful. Let's say yes, and then I'm gonna click Flash. And then it's gonna say, are you sure? <laughs> and there, now it's, now it's going, it's, it's flashing. Okay, almost done. Oh. Okay, it looks like it also wants to validate after it finishes flashing, which is kind of an interesting step. Looks like this is going pretty fast. Now while it's been validating, it's been popping up these windows. Okay, so it finished validating, but it's been popping up these windows saying that the file system is some unknown file system. Do you want to format? You want to make sure you cancel this and just ignore these errors. 
the reason it's popping up these windows is because Windows doesn't know how to handle um, the image because the image is a Linux image and Windows can't read it so it's offering to format it so you just want to cancel that. Alright so now it's complete so now we can just put this into um, a Dexter and, and boot it and it should work but now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing on Mac. Okay I've downloaded the Etcher program and the Dexter image so first thing I'm going to do is to see if Mac OS can extract this for me without installing 7-zip. Looks like it actually can. That's cool. Hey, nice. Okay, so I just double clicked on it and it extracted it automatically. Very nice. So now this etcher, I'm going to double click on this. It's going to pop up this installer thingy. All you do is drag this over here. This would open twice, but you can see it's installed up here. So I'm going to double click this. It's loading down here. Since it's the first time, it says, Are you sure you want to open this? I say yes. Now it pops up the UI that we're familiar with. Flash from file, I'll say yes. Click, and I'll find place where it extracted right here and say open I'll say select target and here's my I've already inserted the USB drive and notice it's 32 gigs and it this location is going to be probably different for you or maybe the same but it's going to be slash dev slash something probably just make sure you don't overwrite your you know my here's my system drive, I don't want to overwrite that. Looks like it won't let me, so that's good. So then I'll say select, and I'll say flash. And it wants me to enter my password. So I entered, enter, entered my password, and now it wants access to the, a removable volume. I'll say OK. And there, now it's starting to flash. Okay, almost done. And it's going through the verification step again. Almost done. Finishing. Alright. So it worked. Okay, now I'm going to insert the, U the SD card into the Raspberry Pi on Dexter. Make sure that the Dexter USB drive is inserted because the SD card is going to copy files from off this USB drive. So now I'm going to power it up. Okay, so when you power up this new SD card, this is what the Raspberry Pi is going to output on the screen. This is what Dexter is going to output. So you may see this on your arcade game if you have it plugged into your arcade game. This is just some typical setup stuff usually goes pretty fast and once it gets done doing this stuff it's going to reboot itself um, I think it's going to reboot at least twice so if you see that happen that's normal not, nothing to be concerned about okay once it's rebooted a few times it's going to show this screen where it's going to try to copy the files from off the USB drive so this just waits 20 seconds to give you a chance to abort because once it starts you can't cancel it. Yep, so then it'll just show this, show that it's copying files from the USB drive to the SD card. And once this finishes, then it may reboot one more time, I can't remember, but it'll eventually finish copying all the files it needs and preparing itself and then your SD card should be finished, um, ready to go for Dexter. So I hope this was helpful. See you next time.